Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to week 13 of your Maths Home Learning. This week, we're going to be revisiting some things that we've already covered. Um, just a bit of a recap, as well as hopefully learning some new bits as well, all around straight lines, curves, 2D and 3D shapes. So today we're going to start off learning to identify and differentiate straight and curved lines. So if you have a look at all of the lines that we've drawn on this sheet, um, Jack drew the lines on this side using a pencil and a ruler. So they are straight lines and you can only draw a straight line with a ruler. Um, as you will know when we're telling you to do your margins, you might think you're able to draw a straight line without one, but you need a ruler to draw a true straight line. To draw a curved line, as you can see on this side, you don't need a ruler. Um, you can draw the, them freehand with a pencil. And we've got a variety of different straight lines on this side of the page. So we've got some pictures here made up of straight lines and curves. So pause the video, have a look and see if you can identify in these pictures which are the straight lines and which are the curves. So you can see in this shape, for example, we've got a straight line going here, another one along here, but then there's a curved line which complete the shape. And this one, straight lines down the side and curved line along the bottom and top. And then we've got a circle, which is a curved line that um, is complete. And then we've got some semicircles in the middle. So there's a straight line here with a curved line around there and so on. And then on this side, we've got some lines that are made using only straight lines or curves. So that means that these two shapes only have straight lines in them and these two shapes only have curved lines in them. Now you might think that this part of the heart shape here looks fairly straight, but if you were to hold a ruler against it, you would realize that it's not, and it's a continuation of this curved line, which meets this curved line. And we can make up shapes and have a look at them and see the different types of lines that they are made of. This one is made up using straight lines and curves. Pause the video and see if you can count how many of each there are. So if you run your finger along the lines, it's a good way to sort of identify whether it's curved because you can feel your finger moving around the curve. And then the straight line, you can feel a very definite change in the way that your finger moves along that paper. So in this one, we can see there are one, two, three curved lines and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight lines. Now, these straight lines are all joined together, but the reason that we would say it is one, two, three, four, five straight lines are because they change direction. So this is one continuous straight line and it changes direction, becomes another straight line. Now here we've got a shape with two straight lines and a curve, handily in different colours so you can see where they begin and end. I'd like you to have a go at drawing, drawing some more shapes that have two straight lines and a curve and then try drawing some shapes that have two curves and a straight line. And see, finally, if you can draw some shapes with two straight lines and two curves and write down the number of, of them in each. Put my teeth back in. So today's task is all about straight lines and curves. I would like you to look at each of these pictures and draw them into the appropriate table, line in the table. So straight lines only, shapes that are made up of curves only, shapes that are made up of straight lines and curves. This task, I'd like you to look at the capital letters in the alphabet. And we've got a Venn diagram here. So in this part of the Venn diagram, letters that are made up only of straight lines, letters that are made up only of curved lines in here, and then think carefully about which letters will go in the middle. Now we've got some different arrangements and shapes with straight lines and curves. I'd like you to count the number of each in each of these shapes. 
and finally colouring in the shapes which have two straight lines and two curved lines in red and the ones that have three straight lines and one curved line in green and finally in this box draw a happy face using curves only and in this box draw a sad face using straight lines and curves and we'll have a look at that tomorrow.